to be zero in x. And now mirror. Okay. Now I can uh, use uh, the snaps to move the other side of the face, the bones in the other side of the face, uh, to exactly where these helpers are, which is this uh, symmetrical location. So what I need to do now is I need to adjust the, the skin weighting because right now it's face is quite limp. Okay, turn off snapping uh, and freeze all because you remember I I freezed it. I froze it and edit envelopes select I'm switching to wireframe mode so I can see the bones better and now I have to adjust all the weighting here so switch here vertices and start giving weights I'm going to set these guys to 1 I'll have to adjust that later but right now it's okay this one's down here also do 1 This guy's here in the middle. Select the bone in that part of the leaves and uh, set them also to one. This one's I'm going for a little less for this guys and a little less for this. Okay, now I'm going for these bones in the corner of the mouth. Oh, I, I selected one from the back of the head without noticing. It's okay. That's right, more or less. And now I'm I'm going to mirror. Uh, I'm gonna need to mirror this this weight. And I'll also show you how to do this. I have a little problem with this because uh, my model is not uh, completely symmetrical. And sometimes uh, I I started thinking that I could only copy the weights uh, symmetric, symmetrically for the whole body, but uh, you don't really have to. You can to you can uh, activate mirror mode, select a bunch of vertices, and then using this button here, mirror paste, uh, you can copy the weights from one side to the other without affecting the whole thing. Okay, wait, I left this, this vertex here. And the ones up here.
well as, as you see this is quite slow quite a slow process so uh, but you get the idea uh, so now if I select any bone in the cat structure and play a bit with the weight you will see that the character now opens and closes it it's in the mouth okay so now what I will do is I uh, connect this uh, opening and closing motion uh, to the point and the, in the control that I created before so now what I'm going to do is uh, I will add uh, this point that I set up earlier uh, as a master to rule the opening and closing of the mouth and uh, to do so I will open the reaction manager come over here animation reaction manager and add click at the black cross click at the point controller and hit uh, transform position and y position limited controller easier float and now add the base as the slave uh, come over here to object layers open weights Right. Erase this state here. The one that the reaction manager has automatically created and uh, move uh, or point in the y axis so that it's, it sits in the top of the square and create a new state. This will be our default default position and we want uh, this uh, position to be uh, we want that the character is uh, with its mouth closed in this position so uh, we punch in uh, zero in the weights in this weights field here and uh, we add another and this time uh, it's got to be uh, minus point minus 1.5 and I'm setting its weight to 100 and this will make uh, our character open the mouth when I move the, this point to the bottom of the square so that's it now when our control opens and closes the mouth of the character. The next thing will be create uh, to create uh, two new poses in two new adjustment layers for the narrow and wide uh, mouth. So I'm adding two local adjustment layers more okay and I get the top one uh, very important that you set uh, this control we just created to make the weight of the uh, of the open layer to be zero and now I'm grabbing the bones Well, first I will rename the layer to white, and this one in the bottom will be open, uh, white, narrow. Okay, and now set white to active, and grab. Uh, oops, I have to delete this, and grab. Uh, the bones to a more suitable position to make this shape happen 
I will be pulling to the side uh, the corner of the mouth and then is in the middle right in the middle left of the mouth And we have to pull it a little backward. And as you see, uh, new problems with the weighting will arise. And as they do, you will have to uh, adjust your weights in your scheme modifier and fix them. Okay, come here. Edit envelopes again. Select the corner of the mouth. And I should put more weights in these vertices. Okay, absolute aspect. 38. No, I need to add some more in this one. A bit more here, and a bit more in this one as well. 